In this lesson, we'll begin our review of writing test nine, section two. So on the writing section, always four passages, 11 questions each, 35 minutes, and there is a random order of difficulty. So let's take a look at the first passage. Survival in the hostile environment of NW Rota one. Remember, when we see these brackets, there will be a question about sentence order at some point. So you don't always see them, but when you do, keep that in mind. 60 miles north of Guam and more than 1,700 feet under the ocean surface is the summit of NW Rota 1, an undersea volcano discovered in 2003. Surprisingly, the volcano <coughs> excuse me, appears to have been continuously active. It even grew 130 feet in height between 2006 and 2009. Yet despite the hostile environment created by the constant volcanic activity, life is thriving there. Special adaptations are the key to survival at that depth. Water pressure suppresses the explosive force of the volcano's eruptions, allowing scientists to watch and observe them up close via remotely operated vehicles. So question one, we can see this right away. This is a standard English convention, just a grammar question. Why would you say watch and observe, right? Those are really synonymous terms. You wouldn't say I'm watching and observing a baseball game. That's redundant. And that's one of the rules that is tested. So you would just pick one of these and the answer is B. And then here, question two, here's the sentence order question. So let's take a look at two. To make the paragraph most logical, sentence five should be placed where? And here's sentence five. At that depth, water pressure suppresses the explosive force of the volcano's eruptions, allowing scientists to watch them up close. So you would really want to pay attention to the previous sentence because it's a reference to depth. And if you look at four special adaptations of the key to survive, there's nothing indicating about depth. It really doesn't fit there. Let's go to the beginning of the passage, the beginning of the paragraph. 60 miles north of Guam and more than 1,700 feet under the ocean surface is the summit of NW Rota 1. So here was a reference to depth. And then if you inserted 5 right here, at that depth, the water pressure suppresses the explosive force of the volcano's eruptions, allowing scientists to watch and observe. And then this now would be the next sentence we're inserting between 1 and 2. Surprisingly, the uh, volcano appears. And this ties to watch. So this is what you really want to seek when you do these questions is reference to make it logically fit. So we had reference to depth. And then we also had reference to, to watch and then appears follows up on that. So the answer to this one is should be after sentence 1b. All right, let's take a look at the next paragraph. NW Rota is far below the ocean's photic zone where sunlight drives photosynthesis. Nevertheless, bacteria supporting a unique food web have adapted to this perpetually dark environment. And so here, this is a, uh, a transition word here, these conjunctive adverbs. It's far below the ocean's photic zone where the sunlight drives photosynthesis. And then let's look here, bacteria supporting have adapted to this perpetually dark environment. So think about it, do we have consistency or contrast here? We really have contrast here, right? Because it's so low, it's so low below the, um, the surface of the ocean where the sunlight would drive photosynthesis. It's, it's, it's not really receiving any of that, but the bacteria have adapted to this dark environment. So they've still sustained, it's still been able to sustain. So you want a contrast where nevertheless really means in spite of, or notwithstanding, or even though. It's not afterward or furthermore. We want contrast. So this one is no change for number three. The bacteria have evolved to use hydrogen sulfide instead of sunlight for the energy that drives their metabolic processes. And hydrothermal venting is the source of the chemical soup necessary to support him or her. What's the subject here? There's certainly no person, no singular person that would warrant him or her, we're talking about bacteria. And there's a lot of space between the subject and the, the pronoun, but it's definitely a plural pronoun. And so it would be them, right? S to support them, not it or one. Those are singular. We definitely need the plural, the objective case of them. All right, let's continue. Seawater seeping into fissures is the ocean's floor in the ocean floor is heated by underlying magma and the heat drives chemical reactions that remove 
oxygen, sulfates, and remove other chemicals from the water. So right away, we can see we already have remove here, and then we're listing the different chemicals. Why would you want to put remove again? That's just redundant, and it's also not parallel. So you just want oxygen, sulfates, and other. So we just want an and here because we already have this other chemicals. And so the answer here is C. And I'm going to stop here. It's the end of the page, but I'll just read the rest of this. Once the spearheaded water up to 750 Fahrenheit rises through vents in the ocean floor, additional reactions cause minerals and compounds to precipitate onto the seafloor where bacteria feed on them.